Okay, in this video, we're going to continue our discussion on the user interface by taking a look at viewport navigation. Obviously, Terry, while creating a virtual world, at some point you're going to need to navigate through it. It's That's gonna, true. It's going to be hard to just kind of stare through this window. There's mm -hmm. our viewport right here, so you can kind of think of it like a window into this virtual world. And construct the entire thing without seeing the other side of stuff. That's right. It'd be kind of rough, wouldn't it? So how do we navigate the viewport? Well, it's quite simple, actually. It depends. Are you in a view state or are you not in a view state? Because you need to be in a view state in order to navigate around. So what am I talking about? Well, you're going to find, as you're working with Houdini, that you can easily place Houdini into different states. The okay. view state is going to allow us to use combinations of uh, keys on the keyboard and mouse buttons to navigate. Right now, we are in a view state by default. So when you first launch Houdini, you're going to find that right here, you're going to see the word view. You're also going to find that your mouse icon, when over the viewport, is going to be a hand. Mm -hmm. You can look down in the status bar, down in this area right here, and you're going to see some information, just in case you forget what I'm about to tell you, that is going to tell you what you need to do in order to navigate the viewport. <clears throat> Excuse me. So left mouse tumbles, middle pans, right dollies. Let's try it out. So the left mouse button, hey, what do you know? We are tumbling. The middle mouse button, we are now panning. And the right mouse button, this is dollying. This is not zooming. This is pushing our camera forwards and pulling our camera backwards. Please. So it's physically moving the camera. That's right. Even though there's not really right, a camera right, there. Right. Uh, in other 3D applications, for those of you that may be coming to Houdini from other apps, such as Maya, you're always looking through some sort of actual camera. Mm -hmm. In this particular case, this really is kind of like a virtual, free-flowing point in space that we are looking through. We're going to take a look at adding cameras into the scene later, but we're not looking through an actual camera camera that you can create okay, inside of Houdini. You. So, simple enough. Left, tumbles, middle, pans right dollies in and out now you'll also notice down on the status bar that we have a few other things that we can do control left rolls as if you were like in an airplane so let's go ahead and back out a little bit so control left and here we are rolling from side to side making all of our passengers nice and sick the alt left is going to rotate the interesting thing about how this works is it's going to come down to which way you're going to nudge the mouse to begin with and here's what i mean if i hold alt and then press down with the left mouse button, nothing changed on my icon. Right. But as soon as I bump my mouse up or left or right, it's going to lock to that particular direction. So I just bumped it up. That means I'm going to basically rotate up and down. I gotcha. So around my horizontal axis. Now, again, so I just simply let go of the mouse button. If I am holding alt still, if I left click again and I budge left or right, look what happens. So now I am rotating around the vertical axis through which our view has already been rotated. So that's why you might be thinking, why is that rotating in a funky way? Well, that's because it's already been tilted towards us. I got such. You. All right. And then finally, we can control right to box zoom. So control right and boom, we simply zoom into an area. But we have zoomed here so that you can see that our perspective is a bit different. So I'm sure those of you that are completely new to working with uh, Houdini or 3D apps in general, mm -hmm. you're going to get yourself lost by navigating around. Generally doesn't take long in a new 3D class, does it, Terry? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> so how do we basically home up our view or get everything back into view? Mm -hmm. Well, if you're in a view state, simply hit H on the keyboard and boom, there oh, we go. Nice. So now we've homed everything back up. Uh, if you want to home up on a particular object, which we're about to start talking about creating objects here in just a few minutes. How do we go about doing that? I'll go ahead and demonstrate real quick. I'm just going to come up here and control left click on a sphere to create one. And we'll just take this guy and pull him over to the side. If while in a view state, I hit the G key, I will as soon as aha, let's go back to the view state. And we're going to talk about that in just a second. I'm going to hit G and we'll home up on that particular oh, okay. object. Now, I'm glad I did that because that demonstrates that you need to really be paying attention. I wasn't in a view state when I hit G just a second ago, mm -hmm. I was in a different state. I was working with geometry at the moment, so I could go in there and change some of the more popular parameters on the sphere that I had just created. Right now, I am back in a view state. Mm -hmm. So how did I get into the view state? How did I get out of the view state? Well, let me press the enter key right now, and I can select my geometry. So now I'm back in the geometry state that I was in just a second ago. That, once again, allows me to come in here and adjust some of the more 
popular attributes of this particular piece of geometry. So let's say I want it to make the radius just a little bit bigger. But now I need to navigate. Mm -hmm. I am not in a view state. So how do I temporarily get to a view state, and how do I toggle back to a view state so that I don't have to worry about toggling back and forth? It's basically, so I'm in it permanently. Right. Well, to temporarily jump back over, you just simply hold the space bar. Now, I'm holding the space bar. You'll notice up here it says view, and at this point, I can simply move around. While holding the space bar, I can hit H, and look at that. I've homed everything back up once again. Mm -hmm. The moment I let go of the space bar, I'm still oh, working with my geometry, okay? So very convenient. But what happens if you want to toggle back over to the view state? Because let's say you're going to do a lot of navigating for mm -hmm. a moment. Simple. Just press the escape key on the keyboard. There we are. Back in a view state. Now, I'm not hitting anything else on the keyboard, as you can see, Terry. So there you go. Now, there is one other thing that I would like to point out real quick. And that is, for those of you that are coming from other applications that have a different tumbling method, mm -hmm. like let's say you're coming over from LightWave, and this particular method of tumbling around the viewport may feel a bit odd to you. There are a total of three different algorithms that you can choose for tumbling. If you were to come up here to edit, come down to preferences, and down to 3D viewports, from inside here you can see tumbling methods. We've got the... 80s style Euler tumbling, we've got the classic Houdini tumbling, and we've got the standard Houdini tumbling. Please feel free to give them a try. Find which one works best for you. To me, I have always been a fan of the 80s style Euler tumbling. Mm -hmm. It just feels more intuitive to me. So once again, just kind of get a feel for it. So that's pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about in this video. So let's spend just a moment, Terry, and recap. So first of all, in order to navigate in my viewport, what do I need to do? Uh, click the left mouse. Click the left mouse. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try that. So I'm going to click the left mouse. Well, you got to make sure that you're in this certain state. you got to uh, be in the viewport state. you got to be in view the state. view state. Very good. That is very important. So how do I get to the view state? Because I'm obviously not in it right now. Well, okay, I do have a question. Can okay. you hit the drop down up there where it says geometry and jump over so to So if view. I come over here to geometry, repeat current operation branch and repeat mm, operation. So there's parameters. no way you can go through a drop See the icon menu? down over here? Mm -hmm. I can simply click on this. I got you. If you're one of those icon must click kind well, of Well, I mean, I was just asking. No, that's, there's <laughs> nothing wrong with that. And uh, you can also see by moving the mouse over that, it says to get back to a view state, mm -hmm. hit the escape key. Okay, I got you. So let's go ahead and create this new geometry node. Go ahead and delete that out. Mm -hmm. So uh, once again, we'll go ahead and select this guy. I'll hit enter to jump back over into uh, working with that piece of uh, geometry. Right. So what do I need to do? Okay, well, if you're going to navigate, you need to go hit the escape key. Oh, now you're sounding good. Oh, but I only want to navigate temporarily, just oh, for a second. Okay, then you hold the space bar down. All right, now you're talking my language. Mm -hmm. So now I've done what? Uh, you've temporarily got yourself into a view state. Excellent. That's what I want to hear. So now, mm -hmm. all right, I want to tumble. What do I do? Uh, tumbling is hold down the left mouse button. You cheated. You read the bottom, didn't you? No, actually, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no honest buzz. I honestly, can, I can I remember what you said three minutes ago. All right, so left mouse button, very mm -hmm. good. So, again, to me, this just feels very intuitive. So left and click, and we're sliding around to the left, mm -hmm. uh, right, up, down. I mean, it's just very intuitive. Right. It's it just... doesn't feel that way if you're using the other styles. It is completely different feeling. I got you. And, and it's just a feeling that doesn't work well for me because I end up feeling like I've got my fingers tight in the oh, knots and all. <laughs> um, well, let's just play with it for a second. If I come up here again, edit mm -hmm. preferences down here to viewports, and let's just change this over to classic Houdini tumbling and hit escape. Mm -hmm. And spacebar, as you just said, to temporarily jump into this state. Now, look at this. So, oh, wow. left click, drag. So you can see, kind of close, but whoa. Okay, so pulling down, and now we've just kind of thrown it at an angle. Um, so it, it really is a matter of uh, a little more uh, caution when working with um, – not, not caution, what's the word? You just be a little bit more uh, careful when working with the mouse so that you don't throw it away. Again, I come from working with the, the standard right, Oilers. and as stuff. do I. So. So, uh, so, yeah, this just feels a bit odd. Also come up – I'm sure there's people watching this going, you know, it feels perfectly fine to me. Your way feels cruddy. Yeah, that, that's just how it goes. <laughs> they're very shallow. So, so standard Houdini tumbling. What was that? I said they're very shallow then. It's like, you're wrong. I'm right. So, again, it's just it, – whoa. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. I can see. I, I see why people get lost during using this. But but then again, I mean, mm -hmm. for some people, this this works really well. I 
guess as I just <laughs> – no. No, it doesn't. So once again, I've, I've completely jacked up my viewport. What do I need to do? Hit to the H key. H key. Okay, ready? Yeah. You sure? Uh, wait. H. Yeah. H. You have to be in – You're wrong. View. You have to be in the view mode. Yeah, or view it, states. View state. I want, I want to hear that word state. V- view state. How do I get to it? You uh, click – or well, you can hit the escape key or you can hold down space. Okay. So space, H, H let go, and there, there we go. go. Very nice. Okay. So – all right, let's go ahead and take this before I forget, mm-hmm. and then I find myself yelling at the screen here in just a second, <laughs> and we'll jump back over into 3D viewports and come back down here ah, to the normal way we will navigate mm-hmm. or tumble around our viewport. Much. Yay! See, yeah. I can even go fast. Now, that's not it's something that you had uh, chose but when you started up, right? That's default? It goes to it, 80s? Nowadays, it is. It okay. used to not be. But now, if I recall, I, I could be wrong, but I don't think I'm wrong mm-hmm. um, in this particular case. Uh, when it does come up by default, it is in the standard 80s. Okay. So okay. You don't, you don't, everybody that's following along that's new should be in this mode. But I've now demonstrated where to go and check. Well, that's good then in case somebody comes along and changes the settings that you would really need to know how to change that. Flag. Absolutely. Okay, so continuing along, as you said, hold spacebar to temporarily go into a view state. And you had said that left mouse button is going to tumble us around. Mm-hmm. So if I want to slide the view to the right, what do I need to do? What, like panning? Yeah. Okay, uh, middle mouse button. Middle mouse button, or some of you might know it as track, tracking. So I'm mm-hmm. tracking my view over to the right and then tracking back this way up and down. So that's panning, okay? Mm-hmm. And then to roll in, dolly in and out, what do I need to That'd do? That would be the right mouse button. Right mouse button. Like such, mm-hmm. or it's not down there, but we can also oh, the middle we can scroll. use the wheel as well. So I'm rolling the wheel forwards. I'm rolling the wheel backwards. All right, very good, simple enough. And again, we're not actually zooming, as I said a few minutes ago. We are trucking this guy in, dollying in and out. All right, let's see. Anything else we want to talk about? Well, we did see that we could do the cool airplane mm-hmm. stuff. Oh, I do have a question actually. Yeah. The rotate that uh, the alt. Uh, plus the left mouse button rotate, yeah. or excuse me, is a control left mouse button rotate. Uh, whenever you said that it, your icon doesn't change whatsoever, but then it changes once it hits into the rotate. So the alt left, yeah. So right. alt left. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm doing it right now. That, and if you move slightly, it'll okay. bink. Now will it lock to that position? You yes. can't move up and so down. So I'm going to try right? moving up and down. Okay. No, I cannot move up and down. I got so you. So just like so, let's say I want to go this way, and now I want to go up. Like such. I got you. You just have to let off the mouse button to change the direction. All right. It's completely messed up. How do I get back? Uh, well, you're in the view state, so hit H. Excellent. Now you're starting to look at things the way I want you looking at it. Immediately check. Are we in the state or not? Mm-hmm. Uh, Houdini is extremely context sensitive. Uh, where your mouse is, it's hotkey sensitive. You're, you're going to find as we start getting into expressions and other things that if you don't have your mouse in the right area and you start typing, you're going to be issuing hotkeys to something else <laughs> in Houdini instead of typing out, you know, CH open for, oh, man, I can't yeah. believe I did that. But that's just how it goes. All right. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, this was just a very quick look at viewport navigation. And we'll end it all off with just keep in mind that the H key will allow you to home up back on the center of our viewport. And if you hit the G key, it's going to home up on your selected object. Gotcha. And that is going to wrap up this video. Thanks a lot, guys.